I am coming to you today from outside. I got laundry on the line behind me. It's a gorgeous day and we're enjoying it to the fullest. Let's look at today's scripture of who God is. Isaiah 43 verses 10 and 11. You are my witnesses. This is the Lord's declaration and my servant whom I have chosen so that you may know and believe me and, and, and understand that I am he. No God was before... I cannot speak today. No God was formed before me, and there will be none after me. I, I am the Lord. Besides me, there is no Savior. There are no true gods apart from the Lord. And Lord here means Yahweh, which is who who is one God in three persons. Yahweh is one God in three persons. So we... God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit are all equally God, but they are also their own person in the ways that they serve us. I had mentioned this in one of the previous parts of this series. Um, Savior means one who saves from. So he saves us from our sins, our brokenness, our evilness. Philippians 3.20 and 2 Timothy 1.10 prove Jesus is our Savior. And then in this passage, it says, there is no other Savior besides the Lord. So that means then Jesus must be the Lord. The Lord God, Yahweh, is one God in three persons. So when it refers to Lord and God, it's referring to the Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. So God is the only God. There was no God before him and there will be none after him. He is Yahweh and he is the only savior. He is the only one who can save us from our sins, from our brokenness, from our evilness. There's nothing that we can do to save ourselves. He already paid that price. It was paid in full on the cross all we have to do is invite him in repent repent means to turn in the other direction when we turn from our sins and we start following him we take up our cross and we follow him 